So Sigma came out with a new collection called the New Mod Collection. They were kind enough to send this in PR. And actually, I don't think I've ever done a dedicated review on a Sigma collection, but something stood out to me about this. So I had to try it out. A little disclaimer background. I actually am normally not the biggest fan of Sigma's eyeshadow formulas. Love their color stories. I think they create some of the best color stories on the market. But until the last Sigma palette that I tried, I said I wasn't a fan of their eyeshadow formula and then I tried the dream palette absolutely love that so my hopes are really high that I'm going to love this because I'm filming a whole dedicated review on it because I love the collection so hopefully hopefully it's good as you know even though Sigma was kind enough to send this to me in PR I of course will be giving you the most honest review and it is what it is so if you do plan on ordering this collection or anything from Sigma I know I have a discount code I think it's Morgan Turner 10 and that will save you 10% off off if you are interested but yeah I did get the nice big PR box it is so beautiful there's a couple brushes that are taken out because I use them for my face makeup today but let's go over everything you can get the entire collection the two lip products the eyeshadow palette the brush collection and bag for $146 I'm quickly going to show you what is in the brush set. If you just want the brush set, you can get it for $94. So this is the bag that it's going to come with. It's a velvet bag. And I actually really like it because it's structured. So it's not going to bend the brushes. So this is great to throw into a big purse or a suitcase. Because it's going to do a good job of protecting those bristles. So I think this is really nice and really cute. And then there are five brushes in the collection. And all of them have the most beautiful handles these mauve handles with a glitter ombre at the side I feel like if I were to design a brush it would look like this Sigma has really great quality brushes sometimes I don't really love the uh, fibers that they use so the first brush in here is the multitasker I use this today to apply my foundation they say you can use this with blush contour all of that to me it wasn't dense enough to blend out the foundation but what I did like about it is that I got no streaks so it did take a little extra time to work it out because it's not as dense but I think because it's not as dense I didn't get any streaks and then I also use it for contour I did struggle a little bit with contour it was just hard to get the shape down because I think my face is too small for it and then I also use it to blend out my cream blush and it was awesome for that and then we have the powder blush I use this to set my under eyes and all of that and then also my blush this is a really really great blush brush and then the eye brushes I have not used. Here's what they look like. You have a diffused blend, a small angle, and a medium tapered blending brush. So I will be using these today. I think Sigma has really standard long lasting brushes. I really like that they have a lifetime warranty. So if they ever get messed up, they will be replaced or fixed. For me though, sometimes I just feel like the bristles are a little bit too slick. But depending on the product that you use, that's just fine. So that's the brushes. Also in the collection, this is the reason that I am doing this review because I was really excited to show you guys this. This new mod eyeshadow palette I think is stunning. You can get this palette for $49. The palette is made in China and it has a 12 month shelf life. It's got this velvet outer packaging. Very similar to ABH packaging if you ask me. You do have a mirror and then here are the eyeshadow palettes. This is me in an eyeshadow palette. So many of you guys tagged me because you just knew I would love this. I love that there's these more neutral tones over here and then everything else like purpley and mauve-y. Wow, there's a lot of mauve, purpley, rosy palettes that have come out recently. This is just added to the roster here. But I'm super excited about this. I hope I enjoy this formula because like I said, the main reason I'm doing this review is because I normally don't like their formula, but I love this color story so, so, so much. So it better work out for me. And then lastly, there is a lip gloss and liquid lipstick, which I will get to later in the video. They're each $20. Let's just get to swatching the eyeshadow palette. I need to do that like ASAP. <laughs> Also, if you didn't know, Sigma palettes do also come with a brush and they're not some cheapy brush that you're going to want to throw away. These are the true Sigma beauty quality. I don't necessarily love the shapes of them because my eyes are too small for them, but they are good quality. And here are the eyeshadows, you guys. Aren't these so beautiful? You can see we have a nice mix of matte shimmers and metallics. I think I see a lot of great difference in depth and tone here. Sigma does one of the best jobs when it comes to their color stories. So I'm going to swatch the first quad right here. One, two, three, 
for. And I totally feel like with this, wow, that's so pretty. Oh, I hope this translates on the eyes and that the mattes blend well. Cause that's one thing I do struggle with with Sigma is sometimes their mattes don't blend well, but this is a beautiful swatch right here. Okay, you see, I like how you can kind of use them in quads. Love the way that this is organized. Very easy to create looks with and feel inspired by. You don't have to think too hard about it. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm interested to play with these shimmers on the eyes because they do seem a little loosely packed. So hopefully they don't fall all over the place like this one. I don't know about that. We'll see. Okay, and then the last two. These neutral kind of more brownish shades I'm excited about. I think it's a really interesting addition to this palette since everything is so mauve but oh my goodness, I love this mauve palette. I think it is stunning. The swatches seemed pretty good with the exception of this one swatch kind of weird and maybe this one, but we'll see how these translates on the eyes, but I'm loving the color story here. I think it's so pretty. All right, I'm going to do one of the eyes and I will be back to give you the tea on this. All right, who is ready to get into application. I must say from this experience, there are some things I want to note to you guys. Generally speaking though, I do enjoy the quality of this. I'm gonna start off, I'm just using the brush that the palette came with and we're going into the matte white shade right here. Love that they have this. I'm just gonna use this underneath the brow. This really is such a trusty shade. You can use it all over the eyelid to brighten things up for a neutral matte look or you can use it to blend out the edges of your eyeshadow to make everything look well blended. I used it to highlight my brow bone. And I'm gonna start off with New Mod right here. This is the name of the palette. I didn't get to use every single shade from this palette, but I used all of the ones that I was concerned about. So that's kinda how I do these looks. I'm blending this in the inner third of the crease. And this is blending out so beautifully and easily and it's giving nice even coverage. So I give this one a thumbs up. Using the diffused blend from this set, I'm going into this shade right here. As you can see, it's more purpley and punchy. These shadows do have a bit of kickback, nothing to be concerned about as long as you tap your brush off. It's not a downfall of this palette at all. And I'm putting this in the middle so you can see that the shade really does defer. So that's great. They aren't too close. It's not as vibrant as I thought it was going to be, but it certainly gives you some depth. And I'm going to blend the edges. I'm going to wipe off my brush real quick so that I can get an easier blend. You can see I'm not having any difficulties with this one as well. Building up deeper, I'm going into edgy. So this one is just a wee bit darker. I'm using the medium tapered blending from the set. And I'm going to press this in the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna blend it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this was the first shade that I tried so far in the palette that I had a little bit of difficulties at blending. One of the major issues that I normally have with Sigma eyeshadow palettes is the mattes take forever for me to blend. I struggle with them. So this kind of reminded me of those formulas. I think it's working out better on this eye though. I struggled with this eye, but it's actually doing pretty good. It's all in the placement and the brush that you use. Best advice for you is press it down here in the outer corner and then and slowly work on building it. It's always a good idea to switch between a bigger brush and a smaller brush and clean brushes and a lighter shade. Actually, you know what? This shade blended fine on this eye. So, huh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, okay, I actually did not experience the struggle that I experienced on the other eye, so. That's good. Now I'm going into grunge, which is the darkest shade in the palette. I'm using a wing gloss number 20 for this because Sigma's brush shapes are tend to be a bit too large for my eyes. If you have smaller eyes like myself, so this brush is perfect. And I'm just gonna place this in the outer corner and I'm going to blend it, kind of blend it in a little bit closer towards the crease. And I like to go in with a different brush then soften the edges. Yeah, and as you can see, the shade's not giving me any difficulty with blending either. It worked out easy on this eye. I don't know what I was doing on this eye, but I thought that shade that I used before this one made the look a little patchy. But everything is smooth sailing. Oh, that makes me so happy since this palette's so pretty. And then on the lower lash line, I'm gonna mix some of Edgy and Vogue-ish. And then I'm just gonna run this along my lower lash line. I do think though, these shades are kind of close to one another. I would have liked to seen 
a little bit more of a difference, but I'm not, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like the whole palette is one shade, you know? And then we're going into grunge again. and run this on the outer half of the lower lash line, like so. And I like to use the sponge that I used to blend out my concealer. Just kind of clean up under there. But yeah, this worked out very well. I got a super easy, smooth blend. The eye is looking good. And let's move on to the eyelid. I played with a few different shades. What I noticed is Sigma's, they have a shimmer formula that's more of a creamy shimmer, which is gonna be like glam and hoax and posh. All of these are fine shimmers. They work great. They're not anything groundbreaking, but they're nice shimmers. But Sigma also has this kind of glimmery formula and they have this in their other palettes as well. That's a little drier that I'm honestly just not the biggest fan of. So like vintage, avant-garde, artsy, flashy, all of these are that, I'm gonna call it glimmery formula. It's just a little drier and a little underwhelming. I would like for them to be a little bit creamier and more pigment filled. So I'm gonna start off with avant-garde because this is the prettiest shimmer in the palette. Like I had to, super reflective. But even you can see on the brush, but what I mean by, it's just really kind of messy and fallouty. It's not terrible. I don't know. It's just not a consistency that I preferred. And for how dimensional it looks in the pan, because it's not as creamy, I feel like it doesn't all adhere to the lid, making it just not as punchy. However, this shade is gorgeous. It is one of the most gorgeous shades in this palette. Complaining about the formula aside, it is beautiful. This just isn't my favorite formula from Sigma, but it looks good on the eyelids. So who's to complain about this? The shade doesn't have as much of a pigmented base, but it looks really great on the eyelid. And with Artsy, I think you'll be able to see more of what I'm complaining about. Dang, this eye is just proving me wrong and making me look like a liar because it looks really good. But I just don't get the intensity that I want from these for how they look in the pan. You can use your brush wet and use a glitter glue and you'll get more of that, but I don't wanna have to do that, you know? I'm judging based on the formula alone. It's just not my favorite formula from Sigma. I don't know. I'm using some of Posh, which is more of the true shimmer formula. And see, I like this one. I feel like this gives me a little bit more punch. It's more true to how it looks in the pan. Really pretty. And then I'm going into Haute right here, which is like a champagne-y highlight shade. Stunning, again, it's that shimmer formula that I like. Uh, the shades that I'm complaining about, that loose, glimmery kind of formula, they look so pretty on the eyes though. I just, I feel like they could be better. Okay, I'm going into vintage. Tap off your brush. I'm gonna put this on the inner half of my lower lash line. It's pretty though. I feel like I almost didn't want to like this. I was expecting not to because I have not been a fan of any of this style of packaging from Sigma's eyeshadow palettes, but I had a much better experience with this than I have with the other ones in the past. So this one is my favorite that they've come out with that I've tried so far. So I'm gonna go into the darkest shade now with the angled brush that came from the set. And I'm just going to lightly define the eye. Give myself a baby wing as well. I wish this was like just a tad bit darker. It did work fine in adding depth with a blending brush, but in some higher quality eyeshadows, I feel like when you go in with an angled brush directly in, you can still even get it deeper with this style of application. This one is definitely more soft. Okay, anyways, I got minimal fallout, but it's there which is fine. I am going to finish my eyes and we'll finish off with the lips and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. But this palette surprised me, honestly. I really love the look. I think it's gorgeous. So, hmm. oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I've been wearing this makeup now for like an hour. I filmed my outro and everything and then I went to upload the footage and I realized I didn't film it. I just didn't. Here's the final look. I'm gonna show you the lip products individually, but at least I have some experience with them now. I had them on for like an hour, but with the liner and lashes, how beautiful is this eyeshadow palette? Oh my goodness. Before I get into my final thoughts, let me pop on the lip products in the collection. There's one liquid lipstick and one lip gloss. Each of these products are $20 each, which honestly I think is kind of expensive. Let's start off with the liquid lipstick. This is in the shade New Mod, which is the name of the collection. Here's the applicator. Has no scent to it. This color is so beautiful right up my alley. 
Look at this. This is such a great everyday mauve color. It's gonna go great with any cool tone look that you do. Why did I just do the worst job applying this? Oy vey. So this liquid lipstick is absolutely beautiful. I love the color. It goes perfect with the eyeshadow palette. It feels a little thicker, but it's not really drying. If you have any dry patches on your lips though, I would exfoliate before use. I think it's a really pretty liquid lipstick. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it at full price. I think $20 is a lot. But if you can get it on a discount, gorgeous color goes perfect with the collection. The lip gloss that launched is in the shade Passionate, right? Yes, and as you can see, it's really, really shiny. It's darker than the liquid lipstick, which I think is interesting. And it's a brush tip applicator. So this looks so cool on top of the liquid lipstick, look. It's darker, but it looks super metallic over this liquid lip. It's so pretty, it's not a sticky gloss. It's quite comfortable. Now this color isn't on my alley, so for me, I personally wouldn't buy this, but if you're into this kind of look, I do like this formula. I've never tried a Sigma lip gloss before, but overall these are nice, probably wouldn't pay full price for them, but they go perfectly with the collection. So here are my final thoughts on everything. In terms of the brush set, I think the brush set's really nice. They have a lot of great shapes. If you're somebody like me who does have a smaller eye though, I think their brushes are just a bit too big for our eyes, but if you have bigger eyes you will like the eye brushes here and they're not bad as you know Sigma is really great quality brushes there's a lifetime warranty on them I think they're a decent price as well of the brush case as somebody who has a large brush collection did I need this no but I mean as always Sigma's brushes are really really sturdy and if they're shapes that interest you then go for it of course the main focus of today was the eyeshadow palette oh man you guys I really love this color story and I was thinking to myself would I love this palette as much if it was a different color story? Probably not. The thing with this palette is that if I designed a palette, I would want it to look like this. This is Morgan's kind of color story, so instantly I love it. The quality of Sigma's eyeshadows aren't end-all be-all. I don't think they're anything that really stands out on the market. This is a better formula than I've tried of previous palettes from Sigma. You saw that all the colors blended pretty nicely for me. Because I love the color story so much, the formula is absolutely doable for me. Would I be willing to put up with this if it was a color story I hated? Probably not. So you're just gonna have to gauge that. It's not a bad formula though. It really isn't. You can totally make it work for you. It's just, you know, not pat or nat level which is what I'm used to. My suggestion personally would be, and this is if I were in your shoes, and so just take this with a grain of salt, Sigma always has really great sales or discount codes, one or the other. I think if you're a first time customer, you can actually use a certain code to get 20% off. If you're able to get this at like 20% off or more, then I would say this does become worth it if you like the color story as much as I do. And these guys, for me, they're not a must have, but they're very pretty and they go great with the collection. If you purchase the whole collection, you won't dislike those. So there we have it, you guys. Those are all of my thoughts on the new Sigma New Mod collection. Love the color story, love the marketing. I think it's a pretty solid collection overall, and I'm very happy that I was able to receive it. If you are purchasing anything from the website, feel free to use my code MorganTurner10. I believe it is affiliated, so just keep that in mind. Or look for a better one online. I know they always have like 20% off codes and stuff. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. I will catch up with you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.